Suppose you roll a fair six-sided die once. What is the probability of rolling a six or an odd number? There are a couple of ways to do this problem, and I'll do two. For the first, I'll use what we know about or probabilities. We know that the probability of one event or another happening is the sum of their individual probabilities minus the overlap, minus what happens when both of them occur. In this case, a six and an odd number are mutually exclusive events. These events cannot happen at the same time. If you roll a six, you didn't roll an odd number, and if you rolled an odd number, you didn't roll a six. So the probability that both of them happen together is zero. So in this case, the probability of rolling a six or an odd number is just equal to the probability of rolling a six plus the probability of rolling an odd number because there's no overlap, so that doesn't affect the calculation. The probability of rolling a six, well, there's one six and six total numbers. So the probability of rolling a six is one out of six. Rolling an odd, well, there's three odd numbers, one, three, and five, and six total possibilities. Adding those up, we get four out of six, or two thirds, or 0.67, or 67%, if you like. The other way to do this problem is simply to list the sample space, or to picture it at least, and to think about how many outcomes correspond to either a six or an odd number. Well, all the odd numbers are one, three, five, and then the six is the extra one. So there are four outcomes that correspond to the event that was specified, rolling a six or an odd number, and there are six total possibilities. So again, we get four divided by six. Again, there's at least two different ways of doing this problem, and both of them give the correct answer. Both of them are perfectly fine ways of doing it. So either way you do this problem is okay. But for some problems where the sample space is so large that we don't want to list it or picture it, the first method will be more useful.